So we talked about that when we add heat to matter, that the particles will expand. They'll spread out and take up more space. So as we add heat to our flask here, the matter is going to speed up, spread out, and that balloon is going to get shoved back out. And if we were to let it keep going, the balloon would continue to expand and expand um, and eventually it would blow up. But I've lost a lot of balloons today, so we're not going to get quite that crazy. The liquid is changing into a gas and it's expanding. If I take it off of our heat source and move it over here, initially we're going to see that the balloon is going to shrink because we are getting contracting. The particles are getting closer together and the heat is dissipating. So if I take this flask and I put it into some cool water, and give it a little swirl, I can get the balloon to shrink down here and go back inside of here to show that the matter inside of here, all that gas then um, contracted closer together, became liquid again, and uh, the balloon now is taking up that space. So we can see expansion and contraction in matter. That's how um, thermometers work is that the liquid goes up and down in the thermometer as it expands when it's heated and it contracts when it is cooled. So the last one I'll do here is if I take it and I put it into ice water and I can really get that balloon to get sucked down inside of there. So contracting and expanding. Hooray.